I want to do a quick video about private internet access and using it as a VPN with Untangle. And this is something I really like that Untangle kind of built in to make this easy and it's going to be just a couple clicks to get this started. Uh, if you don't have a private internet access account for VPN, there is a link down below that you can click that is a affiliate link that will help out my channel if you uh, if you'd like to. If you don't like me, then you can still sign up without an affiliate link. You can just go there and click it. But yeah, let's move on. All right, so here we're at the Untangle dashboard, and I'm also logged in to my PIA account here. So what we do, and this is going to be really quick and simple, um, we're going to go ahead and build a tunnel VPN. Now, this can be done with the free version of Untangle, no subscription necessary, just throwing it out there. Uh, so if you just want to use the completely free version, these are all the built-in apps, and this is supported. We're going to go over here to Apps. We're going to go to Tunnel VPN. And you can see I already have it set up. And let me just walk you through the setup real quick here. So here we have the PA VPN service and it's connected. And let's show you how you add a tunnel. So we're going to go here. We click add, select the provider. Now more than PIA access is uh, supporting here. They have ExpressVPN, NordVPN. You can customize and create your own file. So I'm sure it actually works with quite a few different ones. But you go here, private internet access, tunnel name. Select VPN config file, username and password. Now, this is how you build a config file. You go over here, once you're logged in to the uh, PIA and your VPN, open VPN config generator, choose Linux, choose where you want to be. So you can be in Europe, UK, London, Australia, Asia, all the different uh, Asian options here, North America. Maybe you just want to have a VPN, but still show up in maybe somewhere cool like Las Vegas rather than where I'm at in Detroit here. Uh, so whatever the options may be, or maybe you just want to be in Mexico, uh, you just go here and we're going to go ahead and generate that file. Done. We've now generated a Mexico VPN file. Now I'm actually going to go ahead and cancel this. We're going to edit my existing one. And we're just going to change the OpenVPN config file here. And right here's what it is now at New Zealand to Mexico. Hit open and I'll show you right here. Uh, this is not my a public IP of my company, but you do notice right in here, it thinks my country code is New Zealand. This is uh, ifconfig.co. So we're going to go over here. Now that we uploaded this file, same username, same password. Um, I don't care that you see my username. This is my demo account I use, but you can't have a password. Uh, you got to get your own account. So we're going to go ahead and hit done. I'm going to go down here and hit save. And okay, that's it. We're going to go ahead and check the uh, log, see what it did here. All right, looks like it's connected. Go to status. It is. Now, I will have to open up a new window because those sessions currently are probably still tagged to the old one. So we're going to pop up a new con window here. Oop, I have config. Hey, look, now I'm showing in Mexico. So easy enough uh, to set that up. Now, the one thing that I want to show you here is the rules. Now, the current rule we're using is host tagged with tunnel, so client tag tunnel, any available tunnel and send it out. The other options are, and you can build actually whatever options you want. You could tag just the traffic, just the ports. This is where they have the policies, essentially one click built in. These are the default example policies. If I check this box and hit save, it would route all the traffic over. But instead, I only want this particular computer behind the firewall to do it. And if you're wondering why I'm using Chrome Remote Desktop, this is all set up in my lab. And when you start switching IPs around, uh, our software doesn't support out of country. Uh, well, we have out of country blocks. So that's why I'm using Chrome Remote Desktop to view this computer, in case you're wondering. But right now we have a client, it says, and let's look at the rule more in depth. And this is just the rule built in. You can write any rule you want. So client is tag tunnel, any available tunnel. So that means it's a tunnel, but we can actually, if you wanted to use more than one VPN service, you could specify the PIN tunnel, create a Nord VPN tunnel, and specify which client goes out which tunnel with one click. Now, the way you tag a host is, we're going to go over to hosts, and there are two hosts behind here. So here's a Windows one, and here is a Linux one. So here is the Windows host. I just gave it the tag tunnel, and away you go. So if you have an bunch of devices on your network, but you don't necessarily want all of them going out over the VPN, maybe just certain ones, this is how you would do that. You would just go list out all the hosts. 
Now to show you that it's actually working, I'm going to SSH into that uh, Linux box. That's why I left that one behind here. So you can see this is the Debian box. It's 192.168.55.129. I know it's kind of small, but you can see it's 55.129 over here. So this is that one, but it doesn't have the tag tunnel. So we're going to go ahead and clear this curl. And if you haven't ever used this, this actually is nice. Uh, curl ifconfig slash co, and we're going to go ahead and do slash country. It thinks it's in the United States. And I could do my IP address this way too, if you actually did it this way, but then I had to blur it out because I don't want to share my public IP of our office on here. Uh, you'll have to work to figure that out. Let's see what city it thinks we're in. Thinks we're in Southfield. That's close enough. That's where our knock is, uh, where the IP shows. So you can see that this Debian box is doing that. So how do we get this one on there? Well, we can go back over here. We're going to add the tunnel to this one. Add a tag. Tunnel, done. Go over here to save down at the bottom. And now if we uh, go here to I have config slash city, we're in Mexico City. Simple as that. It changes and away we go. So this is kind of a really nice thing about the way Untangle works is you can quickly change any of these hosts to be in a different uh, location you know, doing policy-based routing um, with just the free version of Untangle over here at Tunnel. So if you're interested in PIVPN, like I said, I have an offer link down below, um, but it is that easy. It's only a couple minutes set up. It's a couple clicks set up um, and then write the rules how you want. If you just want everything to go out there, you do this. If you use their example rule, and I left the word example in there because these are like built already, client is tag Tunnel or whatever you want to call it, it will then send that client out over the tunnel. These are one of the things I do like about Untangle is that it's so easy to use and easy to do things like this without a whole lot of management. So uh, happy VPNing and uh, good luck with this. Uh, this is definitely something fun to play with. Thanks. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, go ahead and click the thumbs up. Leave us some feedback below to let us know any details, what you like and didn't like as well, because we love hearing the feedback. Or if you just want to say thanks, leave a comment. If you want to be notified of new videos as they come out, go ahead and hit the subscribe and the bell icon. That lets YouTube know that you're interested in notifications. Hopefully they send them, <laughs> as we've learned with YouTube. Anyways, if you want to contract us for consulting services, you go ahead and hit lawrencesystems.com and you can reach out to us for all the projects that we can do and help you. We work with a lot of uh, small businesses, IT companies, even some large companies, and you can farm different work out to us or just hire us as a consultant to help design your network. Also, if you want to help the channel in other ways, we have a Patreon. We have affiliate links. You'll find them in the description. You'll also find recommendations to other affiliate links and things you can sign up for on lawrencesystems.com. Once again, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.